Doing this is pretty much unlike me. I pretty much go to my classes and go home. Junior year, it hit me that I needed to go outside my comfort zone. I knew the South Africa EMB trip. I knew that was an opportunity. I was considering that, but then this came along. It just interested me even more that this is the first time um, EMB went along with being anthropology students to Belize. We also have a few side projects. Uh, Chris is filming a sugarcane documentary. I'm doing a, um, a short piece about punta dancing, which is a big part of Belizean culture here. And then Zach Lawrence came along and he's helping us complete those projects. I, I don't think I knew exactly what I was in for. I didn't think I'd be going to a sugarcane mill and actually going inside and seeing how everything's processed. I didn't think that we'd be going to a rum distillery and making all those connections. You know, here's sugarcane and here's how the community and how Belize is taking their product and using it in their own communities. And then, of course, it goes global. It's been crazy. I've seen mountains, but it's, it's made out of sugar. There's been a ton of, uh, ton of stuff that I love doing here. The trip to Lamini was amazing. It was an hour and a half boat ride. We just expected a boat ride, but we saw crocodiles. We saw monkeys right on the riverbank. And then to be able to see these, these temples, these ancient ruins, learn so much culture. Our tour guides have been amazing. They know so much about their culture. They're passionate about it and it's infectious. Uh, Belizean culture is definitely infectious. It's, it's easy to be passionate about it with them. Archaeologists actually report to this time as the golden age of the Maya. So it's been, it's been very easy to make friends here. Everyone's been very um, inviting and very welcoming especially since we've been following around with cameras. Just culture in general and just diving into other people's lives and just trying to understand different perspectives. That's always interested me. I've never done documentary film work. I've only done narrative short films. And going into it, I thought this was gonna be stress-free and it's not, especially when you're capturing people talking about things. These aren't actors, these are real people telling their real stories. You want to capture them at the most authentic way possible, which is just on the go. I think I've, I've grown as a videographer, and then as just a personal experience I've grown. Just hearing all these people's different perspectives on so many different subjects, it's been eye-opening. You know, there, there's never one story to tell. So getting what should have been the same story, but completely different perspectives, it's complicated things, but it's also made things a lot more interesting both as a visual medium, but also on a personal, thought-provoking level as well. I would recommend this experience to anybody, especially the media people. Dive into the unknown. That's an important part in hoping to have a, a future in this career is um, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because I think after, after all, it's all said and done, you'll experience a lot and you'll, you'll gain a lot. My name is Bryn High. I uh, go to school at Northern Kentucky University and I'm an electronic media broadcasting major.